Yo, yo, what's up, Design Lifers? Welcome back to the channel. So, I got my buddy David here. Me and him have been friends for a long time before I was an industrial designer, before he was a mechanical engineer. I know, I know the audio is trash, guys, so I'm sorry about that. I've interviewed my buddy who is a mechanical engineer. I wanted to get his insights on what a mechanical engineer actually is because I'm trying to answer this question for you guys. What's the difference between a mechanical engineer and an industrial designer? I've been trying to answer this question for a couple weeks now, but I wanted to get a little more credibility in this video And so I had him come on the audio line was running through my light line and I was adding so much noise in the audio clip So I cannot show that to you guys But I'm gonna try to extract some of the information that David was able to share with me with his mechanical engineer insights and compare it to what we do here on this channel, which is industrial design. I remember thinking that they were very similar careers because I worked with a lot of mechanical engineers. But later after having a conversation with David, I learned that mechanical engineer is completely different than what industrial designers generally do. I just wanna kind of start it off right now by saying the differences. Mechanical engineering from what I received from David is it's much more than just product development, which is what industrial designers specialize in. We are specifically trained as industrial designers to develop products. That's pretty much exactly what we do. Now, a mechanical engineer, they're different in the sense that they're not only specializing in developing products. What they're specializing in is actually making things work. It can be a product, it can be something else. It's kind of like thinking of it as a science or a math and a methodology of trying to make stuff function, which is way bigger than just producing products. If you're a mechanical engineer and you're interested in producing products with the skills that you have, I would say you're more of an industrial designer, mechanical engineer. And if you want to enter into an industrial design career, I would say that would be a great move on your part. However, if you're a mechanical engineer and you're more of the functionality person, maybe you haven't really developed specifically products before, but you have done a lot of mechanical engineer work, it's gonna be a little bit more of a leap for you to become an industrial designer. Let's go ahead and do some kind of disclaimer. So I'm mostly gonna be taking the perspective of product development. So that's pretty much what I do. That's probably what you guys are asking is under the realm of product development. Creating products so that people can use them. That's pretty much what I'm talking about here. So let's talk about what I specifically focus on as an industrial designer. Steve Jobs always mentioned that design is about not how a product looks, but how it works. And that's completely true. When I'm designing a product, the main priority of mine is to think about what this product can actually be and how it can actually work to benefit the end user. What's the configuration of this product? Is it going to be a multiple piece solution? Is it going to transform? Is it going to be small? Is it going to be large? How is this product going to actually work? Is it going to fold away? You have to assemble it before you start using it or is it just going to come uh, ready to use right out of the box? These are the things that industrial designers are really focusing on, on top of, of course, style. We can't just forget the way a product looks, which is primarily what most people think designers do. And of course, that is true because if you're designing ugly products guys that's not gonna fly you're gonna have to design stuff that actually looks good and excites people and want them to actually buy this product and so that's a huge aspect of industrial design is stylizing but it's not the end all be all so a mechanical engineer there's a lot of bigger type of focuses and but the main specific focus is functionality when it comes to the science, when it comes to the numbers. So what David was telling me in his interview was that you're gonna be doing a lot of analysis. You're gonna be doing stress tests. You're gonna be doing fluid dynamics. You're gonna be doing a lot of simulations in order to really discover what the forces are like. You know, if things are weaker in certain parts or in other parts, These, this is pretty much the main focus of a mechanical engineer. They're gonna be running a lot of tests like this, which is what industrial designers don't do at all. You know, not even close. David mentioned some of the pathways that mechanical engineers can take, like one of the larger ones is going into automotive, but also designing stuff like airplanes and airplane turbines, and even as crazy as rocket propulsion systems. Like that kind of stuff is so much larger than what 
industrial designers do. We just develop products, everyday products that people can use. And so that's what I mean that mechanical engineer is just so much larger. It's a, it covers so much more scope and it's more of a discipline than industrial design. Before I actually interviewed David, the only mechanical engineers that I've really worked with were very similar to me. So the, how the process would work is that I would receive a brand new project from my product manager, my boss, my client, whatever it was, they would tell me this is what they want, this is what they're looking for, these are kind of the products that are currently out there that they want to beat or improve upon. I would take that, extract the information of what they're giving me, produce a couple of concepts. So the idea here is concepts, meaning that this is not necessarily what the product is going to be specifically, but this is how it's essentially gonna work. It's gonna flip out, it's gonna fold up, you can tuck it away. These are the ideas that an industrial designer will come up with. Eventually, once I got that created, right? So I'll create either sketches or renderings or a SOLIDWORKS model, and then I will show that and share it with a mechanical engineer once I'm completed with my concept. I've showed it to the client, they like it. So we move it on to the mechanical engineer phase. And essentially what the mechanical engineer generally does is they will take my idea and they will rebuild it in SOLIDWORKS, creating, giving it all of the tolerances, sourcing all of the screws and nuts and internals and ribbings and all this stuff that will actually make this product real, make it manufacturable, make it work, make it strong enough, that's what they would do. So what I'll do is I'll take their work, I'll develop on top of that, understanding the things that they had to do in order to make this product functional, but leading it back into the direction of having it be more user friendly because they're taking it in more of a functionality way where they're like, this has to be this certain thickness in order for it to work. I'll be like, can we make it round? Can we make it look like it's thinner? Can we make it more user friendly and ergonomic? They they will take my input after I've got their input. It's a back and forth kind of thing. Then usually along the way, there's a lot of arguments and disagreements. But with my experience and with the experience of other people that I've talked to, this is generally how it goes. It's just back and forth with mechanical engineers and industrial designers in order to achieve an end product that will not only work well and be usable, but also be very pretty and beautiful and user friendly for the end user. And that's the benefit of both having a mechanical mechanical engineer and an industrial designer on your team. So that has been my experience with mechanical engineers. If you are actually a mechanical engineer, your main focus and the full scope of your skill set, it comes way bigger than just specifically product development. So uh, if you are a mechanical engineer, what David mentioned is that you could also go into two routes. You can either go into the manufacturing route where you are specifically focusing on designing fixtures and things that will help make this product. Not necessarily the product itself, but things that will help make the product, the machinery, the fixtures. Now, the other route that you can take as a mechanical engineer, which is usually the more coveted route, the more popular route that mechanical engineers want to go to, and that is design. That is essentially you are now creating the actual product itself. You are really having a huge input on the design and the outcome of the end product. As far as programs goes, mechanical engineers are going to use very similar programs to us. So David also uses SolidWorks, just like I use SolidWorks or industrial designers use SolidWorks. But the difference is, is again, that we're using it for a different purpose. So he's making it in the sense that it's going to have to be functional. There's going to have to be ribbing. There's going to have to be draft angle. There's going to have to be all of these specific technicalities that goes into it. Whereas for an industrial designer, what I generally do with SolidWorks is it's a clear way for me to show my concepts that, okay, now I have to make sure what size it is, how big it is. Maybe it has to be 3D printable. But the fundamental reason why I use SolidWorks is to represent my idea in a more defined way way. What I mean by a more defined way is that I can represent my idea that I have in my brain in the form of a sketch. Now a sketch is great because it's really fast and I could share my ideas really quickly in a sketch that I did for like 30 seconds. If I want to become a little bit more defined, maybe detail out some of the sizes, curvature it will have, I will begin to solid works it out where you begin to actually see what this product can possibly look like. Now it's not going to be the final thing. Remember that a mechanical engineer has to look 
at it and has to put in their input, but it's gonna be way more defined than just a simple sketch. Those are the major differences that I see with mechanical engineers and industrial designers when it comes to product development. The purpose of this video isn't specifically to detail out the differences between a mechanical engineer and industrial designer. What I'm really trying to answer the question is if you are a mechanical engineer and you want to become an industrial designer, my recommendation to you is to really shift your mindset from the functionality of a product and how to get this real into more of a shift on what does the end user want? How does this affect their usability, their daily life? This word that has been tossed around in the industrial design field, which I'm finally truly understanding, is the word empathy, which essentially is trying to put yourself into the user's shoes so that you can produce a product that they will love to use and love to own. Of course, there's gonna be overlap and similarities with mechanical engineers and industrial designers, an industrial designer has to understand mechanics and stuff like that, but we don't do anything close to what an engineer can do when it comes to the science of it and the and the real forces and the numbers and the math. I really hope you guys learned something in this video. Truly, guys, this video has been stressing me out. This is the reason why I haven't uploaded a video in a while because I, I just didn't feel comfortable with talking about what mechanical engineers did because I didn't want to put any words in your mouth. I mean, I'm not a mechanical engineer. I've worked with a lot of mechanical engineers in the past in multiple companies, but I never completely understood what they did, but I just knew that we were very similar with slightly different focuses. I'm a huge financial designer, guys, so we can't just make this video and not talk about salary. So from my research here, mechanical engineers and industrial designers pretty Pretty much make very similar salaries. So starting off with a mechanical engineer, you could probably get paid around sixty to seventy thousand dollars, and move up all the way up until, if you are a rock star, maybe a hundred and eighty thousand dollars. From my anecdotal experience with industrial design and what I make and what my friends make, it usually generally starts at around $50,000 and can move all the way up into about $120,000 per year as a senior industrial designer. Of course, this all depends on you yourself, your skill set, your experiences, the company that you're at, how well they're doing in the economy, and of course, your negotiation skills. All right, guys, that is about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that thumbs up button. And I'm trying to answer all of the heavy Heavy hitting questions for you guys so definitely leave me a comment down at the bottom and if I can see a reoccurring question I will try to answer it as best as I can for the next video all right guys also hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos my name is Jimmy and I'll catch you in the next video peace